Hey Dutch here. Today's video I'm going to show you guys a little review. I went to the camping section in Walmart and got a few things. Uh, first thing I got is a little uh, cook stove. Cost five bucks. A little five piece mess kit. I think it was like six dollars. Also, I got freeze dried beef stew. I'm going to cook that for you guys using this little stove and this little uh, five piece uh, mess kit. And uh, just do a little little review for you guys, let you know my opinion on it. Because if uh, any of you guys go to Walmart and you see this stuff and you get ready to go camping or you just want some for your pack, and you're really not sure if it's any good, this, uh, this review is going to be for you guys. So I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, first thing I'm going to do guys, I'm going to get this little stove going. I've actually used this, um, just to do a test run in one of my vlogs. It worked really well inside the house. So let's see how well it works out here. The instructions say to use two of these. I'm going to start off with one and see if I can get the boiling water. If, if, I'm going to start off with one and see if I can get the water to boil with just one. And if I can't, then I'll add a second one. Hey guys, the instructions, this says to add three-fourths cup of, uh, I think it says boiling water. Let's see. Yep, boiling water. So I'm going to go ahead and start boiling some water down here, and I'll show you guys the process, and then uh, we'll see, how, see if I can boil some water with just that one cube on there, and then uh, we'll uh, see how this tastes. I also got this from Walmart. It holds 32 ounces. I thought it was a pretty good little buy. It's only like four, four and a half bucks. This is actually this is really getting really hot. That's a pretty good sign. I'm just kind of guess gonna guesstimate on this uh, three fourths cup of water. It's already starting to boil. I gotta show you guys this. You can see I just I let that pan heat up for maybe two minutes, and it's got so hot it's already starting to boil on the edges so we'll let it come to a, a rolling boil and then I'll, I'll add to that pouch all right guys you can see it's been like maybe two minutes three minutes at the most and it's already starting to come to a, a really good boil and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off here and, uh, and then show you guys putting it in the in the pouch of the mountain house beef stew hey guys all right I'm gonna add the water this thing says you can cook it all in here I was gonna stick it in the pan but I forgot to bring something uh, like a towel or something or a glove to get this pan off there. It's really hot. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this up, take the oxygen absorber out, and then I'm going to use my, uh, my cover to, to put, put the water in here. That actually smells pretty dang good. You know, this almost reminds me of, by looking at it, is stovetop stuffing. You can see that. It's just like, it looks just like stovetop, but a little bit of chunks of meat in there. Let's see if I can't burn my hand on this. I'm pretty good at burning myself most of the time. It says stir and close. All right, let's get this a good stir.
That bag gets really, really hot, especially if you put that boiling water in there. Okay, we'll let that sit for four minutes, like it said, and uh, get back with you. All right, guys, well, we're letting that sit for four or five minutes. I'll do a little review on this stove. It comes with eight cubes, um, the fuel source. Um, right off the back, the, it does, this doesn't really matter, but the fuel source, it stinks. Like, it just has some kind of odor to it. That's not a big deal, though. I just thought I'd throw that in there. But this is still kind of warm because I just got through using it. But my review on this little stove, I've used it twice now. And uh, the first time I put two two cubes on there, like it said, it said you could use one or two, and so I, I put two on there. And two was way too much. So this time I used it, I just put one, and one for what I was doing, just doing one of these little pouches, um, just boiling some water, worked awesome. Uh, for five bucks, I would recommend this to put in anyone's uh, bug out bag or just a backpack if you're going hiking for the day and you want to do you want to cook something out on it. This, let's see if it's still still warm. That's all you do. You just stick the the fuel source right there, light it, and this it says it burns for 18 minutes. It probably that's probably about right um, from what I've done a couple times, and it folds up. You you put your fuel you can put your source in there, for put it in your bag, so it's really compact. Doesn't won't take up much room in your uh, bag, so I, I'm definitely going to be putting this in uh, my bag because um, in uh, it, it works awesome. I, I highly recommend this if you're looking for a little stove for the price and for these little fuel things. As long as they as as long as they were 18 minutes or so, and it puts off good heat for the whole 18 minutes, as, as I can tell. It started to go when it started to go down. Um, you know the the flame started to go down down too also, but when you have your pot on there, the flame, for some reason, the flame seems to still put off good heat up there, especially on these little, on this little uh, pot I used. Um, I'll show you guys this in a minute. I'm not real impressed with this, to be honest with you. But uh, as far as the stove review, this stove for five bucks is a winner. It comes with eight of these. Just little cubes, little fuel, fuel sources. And it's a folding stove with fuel camp kitchen. That's what it is. I highly recommend that. That's, that's a good stove. Okay. Now, I've only used the pot. I've only used the pot out of this, out of this mess kit. And I cooked some eggs in it last time and it worked pretty good. It worked really good for boiling water. The thing about this, guys, I'm not real impressed with it as far as holding up for very long. You can see how it's warped already, if you can see in there. It works really well for getting hot really, really fast because it's aluminum and it boiled water perfect. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better with that stove and this, burn, uh, boiled water easily. Uh, it cooked, I cooked some eggs and bacon in it, did that perfect. Um, as far as cooking on it, it's, I, I recommend it. But if you're looking for something to last you for a while, I wouldn't recommend this at all because you can see already just after two cooks, it getting too hot on one side. It's not going to hold up very long, guys. And I'll keep using this um, to, to the, throughout the videos I do on this stuff, and we'll see how long it lasts us. Um, this kit co also comes with, this is what I like about it. It comes with the, with the pot. It comes with the pot, has the lid for the pot. I didn't use it today. But it comes with this pan, too. And I haven't used this yet, so I won't do a review on it. But I'm assuming it works about like the, like the pot. You're, you're going to get some good use out of it a few times, and then uh, and then you're uh, going to need to replace it. But you can see it comes with its own little measuring cup too. Has three fours cup in there, whatever. It comes just like you can use a, use it for a pan. You can use this for a lid, and you could also use it for an eating dish. So that's pretty cool. And the one thing I like about this, guys. Let me show you. Let's see if I can zoom in down here. One of the things I do like about this little kit, you can put everything in there. There, see? That's it. So overall, 
my review on the the six dollar five piece uh mess kit you know i would recommend it for short-term use i would i wouldn't go since it's six bucks i mean it's hard to it's hard to get something good for six dollars and i think you're going to get several uses out of it i mean it's not something you're just going to use every uh, every day um, for every meal and expect it to last but for your occasional hikes or a bug out and you need a quick uh, to boil some water pretty quick this is going to work just fine uh, but now if you're looking for something that's going to last you years month you know several over you know several years that you can use all the time i would not get this at all all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna try something else too i'm gonna show you i'm gonna see if this will work too i'm gonna try something here all right i'm gonna try to put this see if i can fit it in there all right, this is what I want to try. See if I can get this square thing to fit in there. And it does. That's awesome. So, look what you get to do here. You're going to save space. Say you just want to take this. You don't care about taking your, your pot. Because you can still boil water in this. All right, for a, a plus... I got my stove inside here. So now, all I gotta do is put my stove in here and put this and it's taking up less space in your uh, bug out bag or your hiking bag or, or whatever, your trail bag. Uh, so I like that, that's that's a good idea right there. So, uh, all right guys, it's been four or five minutes. I'm gonna stir this. It says stir then let sit for, uh, stir and let sit for nine, eight minutes, nine minutes. Kind of smells like chicken pot pie, but it's beef. <laughs> okay, we'll let that sit for eight minutes or so. All right, guys, you can see I poured it into the to the um, to the pan. You can see it actually's got quite a bit of quite a bit of meat for it for uh, being in that little bag. Uh, my first impression smells like chicken pot pie, even though it's called beef stew. So we'll see. Let's try it. No. No. Well, that killed me yet, so that gives it at least one star. Okay. Smell smells fine. Smells good. Now, if you guys don't know, I started some time in the Marine Corps. And we've eaten a lot of things, especially when we was overseas, that uh, the normal person probably wouldn't eat. And and uh, this doesn't compare to any of those bad things I ate. It's actually not bad. But overall, the package said it's good till October 2046. It lasts almost 40 years. So what can you expect for something that lasts 40 years? How good could it really be? I'm not going to say that this is terrible. I'm not going to say it's awesome. But I'm going to say it's it's good. I'm going to give it, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to give it three and a half stars out of five. And that's been right above the average. Um, I've had I've had better things that came dehydrated like this, but I've had worse things too. So overall, it's really simple to cook. You just add three-fourths cup of boiling water to it. You can do everything right in here besides boil the water. And actually, I'm not too sure you couldn't boil water in this. Maybe I should try that sometime. But you, you pretty much just need that and some boiling water and a stick and you could make this stuff. So uh, as far as being convenient and a survival situation, if it's a survival situation, I'd give this thing freaking 10 out of 5. Because, you know, you're going to eat anything in a survival situation. But just for like a normal camping trip and, and uh, just for something convenient to make, yeah, I'd give about 3.5 stars out of 5. But uh, overall, not bad. So... You know, the price is five bucks, and is it worth five dollars? To me, probably not. But it depends on what situation I'm in. If it's a survival situation, you're giving anything for it. Just a daily camping trip, five dollars might be a little high for some people. I wouldn't want to, if I got to feed all my kids and my wife, I wouldn't want to stack forty dollars worth of dry food in my backpack. I'd just bring some stuff and make some sandwiches or whatnot. But, but anyways, for, for an emergency situation, you put in your bag, you're going camping, and you might or you're going hiking or whatever and you guys want just something just in case something happens this is perfect
So, all right, for my for the recap review, this I gave it three and a half stars out of five. Not bad, pretty good. This I'm gonna give it. It depends on the situation you're in. If you're in, uh, if you're just want looking for something that's cheap, six bucks can't beat it, um, and you're not gonna get a whole lot of uses out of it, then this is perfect. But now, if you're looking for something that's gonna last you quite a while, I wouldn't get this because, as you can see earlier in the video, the pot was already starting to warp in, in spots because it got so hot, and so I wouldn't recommend this for long term. But for short term use, perfect. Six bucks can't beat it. Now this, this little stove, very impressed with it. I give it a five out of five. I'm gonna get several of these, and, uh, and I think you guys, if you get this, you guys are gonna like it. it comes with eight uh, fuel sources. It's like five bucks, and uh, you seen how it, it boiled water in like two minutes with this aluminum pan I got. So, and it gets really hot, and the, and the fuel sources last, I think it says it's supposed to last like 18 minutes, and this stays pretty dang hot the whole time. So, I'm gonna do a little bit more cooking on this, and I'll give you guys more input as the more I do. But overall, definitely get one of these. This, get if you're going to do just short-term stuff, if you just want it for emergency cases. Don't get it if you're looking for something for long-term use. Don't get this because it's, it's not any good. But for six bucks and you want, you know, 10, 12 uses out of it, you're no problem. No problem. You're going to get that easily out of that. And the beef stew, you know, put it in your backpack. You need something for a quick meal, perfect. But all right guys, that's my review on this stuff. I'm gonna do several more videos on this no more reviews on um, the next uh, videos I put out I'll just be cooking with this stuff and uh, just to show you guys um, How much use you can get out of it and how well it actually works, but overall right now. I'm, I'm impressed with most of it um, And I hope you guys like this video. hope it uh, helps someone out out there. That's looking to buy some of this stuff And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching